Tokyo is back in a state of emergency. We've been seeing a rise in COVID cases here less than 100 days before the start of the delayed Olympics. The city already had a quasi state of emergency in place called Mayanboshi, but the number of infections haven't really gone down. Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koike has said infections are spreading and that's putting the medical system under pressure again. This is the third state of emergency for the city. And let me point out that this covers the string of Japanese public holidays known as Golden Week. It's usually one of the busiest travel seasons, so officials are hoping to keep more people home this year. What's different this time around is the toughest restrictions we've ever seen. The government is asking eateries serving alcohol and big establishments like department stores to close completely, not just shorten their hours. As for the Olympics, Prime Minister Suga has said it will have no impact on the games. There's no law technically that prohibits the Olympics from taking place under a state of emergency, but it will probably impact the number of domestic spectators allowed. We know fans from overseas have already been banned from attending. I also want to touch on what's happening with the vaccination drive here. It's been slow. Japan only started vaccinating the general public for those over 65 years old in April. So far, less than 3% of the population has been vaccinated. And the government's vaccine czar, Taro Kono, said Japan's vaccination program will finish by February of 2022. For now, Japan hopes another state of emergency will help flatten the curve and hopefully carry on with the Tokyo Olympics. Kurumi Mori, Bloomberg News, Tokyo.